What if I told you that the most profound scars we carry aren't visible to the naked eye? Pause for a moment, let that sink in. We're not talking about the scrapes and bruises from a tumble off a bike or the stitches from a misjudged leap from a tree. We're delving into a realm where wounds are far less visible but infinitely more painful. Childhood traumas. These are the unseen scars that quietly shape and mold us, often into forms we barely recognize in our adult lives. Childhood traumas aren't just bad memories. They're the insidious whispers that echo in our minds, the triggers that unsettle us, the insecurities that hold us back. They are the ghosts that haunt our relationships, our self-esteem, our very sense of self. There are 10 types of traumas we'll be unpacking throughout this journey. They range from physical, emotional and sexual abuse to different types of neglect, from having a parent with a mental disorder to enduring a family member's imprisonment, from witnessing violence against a mother to surviving substance abuse in the family or a parental separation or divorce. These traumas leave imprints that can last a lifetime, subtly influencing our decisions, our responses and our interactions. Join us as we explore the unseen scars of childhood, scars that are deep, complex and often misunderstood, but not beyond healing. Physical abuse? The first of these unseen scars. A term that carries a heavier weight than its syllables suggest. This form of maltreatment is more than just the visible injuries. It's a violation of trust, an invasion of personal space, a silent thief that robs a child of their sense of safety. Physical abuse is not only about broken bones or bruises, it's also about the fear that lingers, the anticipation of pain that becomes a constant companion. It's about the flinch at a raised voice, the instinctive step back when someone raises their hand, even in a non-threatening manner. The psychological implications of physical abuse are profound and far-reaching. It's a cruel irony as the wounds on the skin may heal faster than the ones etched deeply within the mind. The child may grow into an adult, but the shadow of harm often follows, shaping their perceptions and interactions in the world. Victims of physical abuse may struggle with self-esteem, suffer from anxiety, or develop a tendency to self-harm. They may find it challenging to form healthy relationships due to the fear of repeating the patterns of abuse. The trauma could even lead to complex post-traumatic stress disorder, a condition that affects a person's ability to regulate emotions and handle stress. Physical abuse is not merely a chapter in a child's life. It's a book that they carry within them, a narrative that shapes their existence. Physical abuse leaves wounds that time alone cannot heal. Beyond the visible, there's the emotional abuse. It's a wound that doesn't bleed, a bruise that doesn't discolor, yet its damage is profound and far-reaching. Emotional abuse in childhood, you see, is like an invisible ink, marking the child's psyche with insidious etchings that only reveal themselves in the harsh light of life's challenges. It is the constant belittling and humiliation, the persistent rejection and fear, the routine indifference and isolation. It's the voice that tells a child they are worthless, unloved, undeserving. Over time, these messages become internalized, creating a negative self-image that influences a child's emotional development and mental health. The child grows, but the wounds remain, often manifesting as depression, anxiety, or other mental health disorders in adulthood. The impact is not just psychological, but also physical, as the stress can lead to a range of health problems later in life. Emotional abuse, an unseen scar that runs deep. Another deeply scarring trauma is sexual abuse. The trauma of sexual abuse, a profound violation, is a dark shadow that lurks in the corners of a child's innocence. This form of abuse, often shrouded in secrecy and silence, leaves deep imprints on the victim's psyche, shaping their worldview and altering the course of their lives. The ramifications of this trauma are far-reaching, extending beyond the immediate horror and pain. Victims often grapple with a complex web of emotional and psychological challenges. Shame, guilt and self-blame become constant companions, marring the joy of childhood and adolescence. The feelings of powerlessness and vulnerability echo into adulthood, fostering deep-seated insecurities and trust issues. It's not uncommon for victims to struggle with intimacy, relationships and self-esteem. 
The world can seem like a hostile place and the self a broken vessel. Yet it's crucial to remember that this is a trauma inflicted upon the child, not a reflection of their worth or identity. It's a testament to human cruelty, not a verdict on the victim's character or future. Psychologists play a pivotal role in untangling the knots of pain and confusion, helping victims reclaim their lives. Through therapy and support, victims can learn to separate their experiences from their self-worth, paving the way for healing and resilience. Yet, the heart-rending truth remains. The innocence once stolen can never be returned. Next, we touch upon the silent suffering of neglect. This form of trauma often lurks in the shadows, less visible but no less damaging. It comes in two forms, physical and emotional. Physical neglect is easier to spot, insufficient food, clothing or shelter, a lack of medical or dental care. But emotional neglect is more elusive, yet equally damaging. It's the absence of emotional support, the lack of listening, the dearth of positive interactions. Both wreak havoc on a child's development. Physically, they might struggle with health issues and delayed physical development. Emotionally, they may battle with low self-esteem, difficulty in forming relationships, and a general feeling of unworthiness. All these are signs of a struggle they can't verbalize, a silent plea for help. This is the reality of neglect, an insidious form of trauma that doesn't leave visible scars but imprints on a child's psyche. Neglect, the silent perpetrator of lifelong pain. Imagine a child playing the role of an adult, this is the reality for children with mentally ill parents. The world is turned upside down for these young ones as they find themselves in a puzzling role reversal, thrust into a position of responsibility that they are ill-prepared to handle. In a healthy family dynamic, parents are the caregivers, the providers of love, guidance and protection. But when mental illness enters the picture, roles can be reversed. The child might become the caregiver, the one who ensures the parent takes their medication, who provides emotional support, who must navigate the adult world far too early. This role reversal can lead to an array of psychological effects. Children may experience a heightened sense of anxiety, a constant worry about their parents' well-being. They may feel a loss of their own childhood as they deal with adult issues. Their education may suffer as they juggle schoolwork with caregiving tasks. They may even blame themselves for their parents' condition, leading to feelings of guilt and shame. The psychological toll this takes is profound. These children often grow up too quickly, missing out on the carefree joys of childhood. They may struggle with forming healthy relationships, carrying the weight of their early responsibilities into their adult lives. When roles are reversed, childhood is lost. The impact is far-reaching, the scars often hidden deep within. But understanding and acknowledging this reality is the first step towards healing. The next trauma takes place where a child should feel safest, their home. Imagine a young mind still forming its understanding of the world, witnessing violence against the mother. This is a trauma that leaves a deep and lasting impression, one that distorts the child's perception of relationships, of love, of trust. When a child sees their mother, the person who is supposed to be their protector, being harmed, they start to see relationships as something to be feared, not cherished. They learn that love can be cruel, that trust can be broken, and that home, the place that should be their sanctuary, can be a battlefield. This trauma doesn't just affect their relationships, it also has a profound impact on their mental health. Children who witness violence against their mothers are more likely to suffer from anxiety, depression, and post-traumatic stress disorder. They may have difficulty forming healthy relationships and may even become violent themselves, trapped in a cycle of abuse. The damage this trauma causes is not always visible. It's hidden in the mind, in the heart, in the way the child sees the world. But just because it's hidden doesn't mean it's not real. It's a terrifying home truth, a reality many children face. And it's our responsibility to acknowledge it, to understand it, and to do everything we can to prevent it. Home shouldn't be a place of fear. Substance abuse in the family, another deeply scarring trauma. This spectre of unpredictability haunts the home, casting long, uncertain shadows over a child's formative years. 
Imagine the world through the eyes of a child where home is supposed to be a haven, a sanctuary, a place of love and security. But when substance abuse enters the picture, this safety is shattered, replaced with a constant state of flux and uncertainty. Children in such environments often find themselves walking on eggshells, unsure of what might trigger the next episode of chaos. They are left to grapple with feelings of fear, anxiety and confusion, all while trying to make sense of the world around them. This instability can stifle their growth, dampen their spirit and distort their understanding of normalcy. Moreover, the impact of substance abuse is not just confined to the emotional realm. It can disrupt a child's academic progress, social interactions and even their physical health. Children may struggle with concentration, develop problematic peer relationships, or suffer from stress-related ailments. It's also important to note that children are resilient. With the right support and intervention, they can navigate these turbulent waters and emerge stronger. But the first step towards healing is acknowledging the problem. Substance abuse shatters the sanctity of home. It's time we recognize this reality, confront it head on, and strive to foster environments where children can thrive, unburdened by the weight of such traumas. Finally, we explore the trauma of a broken home. The dissolution of the family unit, often through parental separation or divorce, can shatter a child's sense of stability, security, and understanding of relationships. A child in a broken home may feel as if their world has been turned upside down. The routine they once knew and the promise of a stable future can suddenly seem uncertain. This upheaval can lead to feelings of confusion, fear and even guilt, as the child may mistakenly believe they played a part in their parents' separation. Moreover, a child's perception of relationships can be profoundly altered. They may begin to question the permanence of relationships and develop anxieties about abandonment. This can shape their future interactions, causing them to avoid close relationships or to cling too tightly out of fear of another painful separation. Yet it's important to remember that every child is unique and their reactions to parental divorce will vary. Some may show resilience while others may struggle significantly. It's crucial to provide these children with support, understanding and reassurance during this challenging time. In the end, divorce breaks more than just a marriage it can fracture a child's sense of self, their trust in relationships and their view of the world. But with the right support, they can navigate through this tumultuous period and emerge stronger and more resilient. Unseen scars need unseen healing. And so we arrive at the end of our journey, a journey that has taken us through the shadowy caverns of childhood traumas, from the overt to the covert, the physical to the emotional. The unseen scars, the invisible imprints left by these traumas are often the hardest to heal. They linger in the recesses of our psyche, subtly shaping our thoughts, our emotions, our very identities. But acknowledging their existence is the first step towards healing. It's about recognizing that the trauma was not your fault, that the child you were did not deserve what happened. Addressing these scars involves challenging the false beliefs that the trauma has instilled in you. It's about understanding that you are not defined by your past, that you are worthy of love, respect and happiness. It's about learning to be kind to yourself, to nurture the child within that was denied the care and love it needed. Healing, however, is not a linear process. It ebbs and flows with good days and bad. There might be setbacks, but remember, healing is not about perfection. It is about progress, about becoming a little bit stronger, a little bit kinder to yourself every single day. So let's start this journey of healing. Let's start uncovering and mending these unseen scars, because no matter how deep they run, no matter how long they have been there, they can heal. It's time to heal the unseen scars of childhood. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the unseen scars of childhood. We've traversed through the dark valleys, climbed the steep slopes, and arrived at a place of understanding, of healing. This video, we hope, has shed light on the profound impact of childhood traumas, the invisible wounds that shape our lives in ways we often don't recognize. But remember, healing is a journey, not a destination. 
It is a process that unfolds over time in its own pace. It's about taking one step at a time, about being patient with yourself, about acknowledging your progress, no matter how small it might seem. If you found this video helpful, if it resonated with you, if it made you feel seen, heard, understood, please consider subscribing to our channel, Cool Stuff Channel 23. We strive to create that enlightens, that educates, that empowers. And so as we wrap up this video, we want to leave you with this thought. Together we can heal the unseen scars of childhood. Together we can break the cycle. Together we can ensure that the children of today don't carry the unseen scars of tomorrow. This is Cool Stuff Channel 23. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being a part of this journey.